guys welcome back to my channel well in today's video I'm going to be showing you my top new liquid lip products basically lipsticks lip balms liquid lipsticks and you know how I make them work for me now basically as a woman of color you would understand that not all nude lipsticks will work for you however there are certain ways that you can tweak it and make it suit your skin tone now I find it really horrible like seriously really annoying when I see people walking around looking as if they slap concealer on their lips that look is just horrible there's no contouring there's no definition to your lips it just looks like you dipped your lips in concealer and it looks really horrible so in today's video I will be showing you how to make that new lipstick that you love so much work for you how to tweak it how to make it subtle how to make it suit your skin tone and you know how to be get the best out of it basically so I hope you guys find this video helpful give it a thumbs up if you like it and hope you subscribe share and I'll see you guys in my next video bye okay so the first thing that I noticed is before you start putting on any lip product you want to make sure that you're starting on a clean slate it's like you're putting foundation on your face so that you know it looks very good the same thing applies to your lips if you want to apply some lipstick you need to at least you know take care of the lips make sure their lips are really moisturized they're not cracked or anything like that because it will pick true if you put on like liquid lipstick or anything and your lips are cracked it will pick true and it looks horrible especially when it's new news has a way of you know pronouncing it so you do not want to put on a nude lipstick especially with a cracked lips so the first thing you want to do is moisturize I've moisturized my lips and then you want to go in with your foundation brush and just dab dab <laughs> I don't mean dab like that but you know just dab your foundation all over your lips so that it kind of gives you like you know a seamless seamless slick to start with okay so that kind of hides any imperfection I might have I've had on my lips it just kind of hides everything and it makes it perfect for me so you want to know that to make liquid lipsticks or whatever lip nude lipsticks work for you you need to have some um, lip liners now as women of color I would always line my lip it would it would 95% of the time when I put on any lip product I will always line my lips it's only in rare terms when I'm putting like an extra dark lipstick or something vampy look that I wouldn't line my lips but if you're going for nude or you know some kind of shade that is light you want to line your lip it's just like contouring it adds definition to your face lining your lip also kind of contours your lip it makes it look better it makes it look slimmer it makes it look cheeky subtle I hope you understand what I'm saying so you want to line your lip now the lip um, the lip liners I normally use uh, the popular one Mac chestnut however I found a dupe for that one and I'm kind of find where it is right now see this is what happens when you do not have your life together I found it <laughs> Okay, so the one I usually use is the MAC lipstick, MAC uh, lip liner in chestnut. And I also find a dupe that really works for me. This one is the Zyron Brown lip liner. I don't know what it's called. I think it's cleaned up, but it's just the Zyron Brown lip liner. It kind of, you know, matches my flesh tone. So I really love it. Another one you could always also use is the Mabrook one. I really love this one, but it's really dark, which is why I hardly ever use it for my lips. But you could subtly use it, subtly like carefully use it. It also works, it stays on your lip for a very long time. But these are the basic two I use, the MAC one and the Zaron one. So I'm just going to show you how I would normally line my lip and then, you know, go on with the first lipstick. Also, make sure that when you line your lips, you kind of blend it in. Sometimes I use my fingers and sometimes I just mash it together so it blends. So it doesn't look like you just rubbed on some sort of drawing all over your lips. So that looks good. The first one I'm going to go into is the drugstore one. And this one is from NYX. I've had this nude lipsticks for years. I can't even remember I've had it for such a long time and it was like my first you know first nude lippy so I really really have it's really close to my heart basically and it's called whipped caviar it's from NYX whipped caviar it's kind of like a peachy one I'm just gonna put it on I 
and this is what it looks like so you can see that it's a really peachy one but it's gorgeous I really love it and it has this moisturizing thing so it's not like drying or anything so it's really good if you have like you know I feel like it doesn't stay for a very long time but because it's moisturized and it's not matte but it does have you know a couple of hours staying at the staying power so it's a really good nude lip peachy and I really love it I'm gonna go ahead and dab my foundation brush all over my lips again and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the MAC one in chestnut and the good thing about liners is it kind of has a way of helping you change the shape of your lips if you want it to look bigger smaller rounder liners can help you do that and then the next one i'm going to go into is from mac and it's the persistence this one is called persistence and i love this one because it has the perfect shade of brown i feel like it's not so much peachy in it it's kind of like has brown undertone so it just really suits me so that's mac persistence and it's a really beautiful brown nudie brown my MAC pencil in chestnut again and this one is also from MAC but it's kind of sexy this is the kind of sexy from MAC and it's like a peachy pinky nude so it's different for persistence persistence has a brown undertone to it this one has like a pinky peachy undertone to it gonna go into my Zaron lip liner and I'm gonna go into this Nikak I don't is it I don't know how it's pronounced like Nikake it's kind of like a, and it's but I love this color it's the Nikak New York lip, lip, lipstick in shade NMS 14 perfect chocolatey kind of brown see how that is so dark it's like flesh toned it's like you want to go a little bit vampy but you're still like in the nude series see how beautiful that is for those that do not like anything with color this would be perfect for you the next one I'm gonna go I'm gonna use my chestnut mark lip liner in chestnut and I'm going to go into this Colourpop Echo Pack liquid lipstick and sometimes it's okay to go back in And for colors like this, I like to use my hand. My fingers, I mean. To kind of blend in the peachiness and the brown. Sometimes when I'm rocking this, I usually go on top of it with the um, ColourPop um, Finders Keepers. It's like, this one is like the perfect, you know, matte. This one is matte, perfect liquid, nude matte, you know, liquid lipstick. While the one I'm putting on top of it, the finest keepers is glossy. The thing about glossy lips is immediately plumps your lip, makes it look fuller and bigger and you know, just beautiful. So sometimes when I feel like that matte one is too drying, I kind of add a little bit of gloss to it. So you give it the extra, you know, added va va boom to it. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go back in with my Zaron. And then I'm gonna go into this 
nude from Yanga Beauty. It's called Nudie. And it's just the perfect peachy nude. This is like a deep for the dose of colors, you know, nude lipstick. I have that one. But since I got this one, I've just kept this one like somewhere. I hardly ever touch it. The thing with this one is you want to work with it fast because it dries on time. So for this particular one, this particular lip product, I'm going to be going in with my chestnut, MAC lip liner in chestnut. And this lip product is from Taos and it's called Tunis Baby. It's the perfect brown, like I really love this color. Do you see how that disappears into my skin? Like this is one lip product that I feel like I don't need to add a lip liner like it would suit me so there are some lip liners that basically don't need it you can still work with it as long as you've tried it and you see that it matches you this one I really don't need a lip liner because it's perfect it can you know just work wherever I put it it's perfect it's the perfect brown and this one is called Tunis Baby from Taos Cosmetics the last product I'm going to be mentioning today is the NYX lingerie and this is in the shade ruffle trim I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips as usual I'm going to go in with the NYX lingerie it doesn't look like I've applied anything that's because it looks the way it's supposed to look. This is how nude lipstick should look. It shouldn't look like you slapped some concealer on your lips. However, if I want to put on some gloss on some of my nude lipstick, I usually go in with the MAC lip glass. And if I can find that right about now. Yes. This is the MAC lip glass in Oh Baby. And I normally just, you know, dot that in the middle. just something about lip gloss here they instantly adds the perfect pout to your lips okay guys we've come to the end of the video i hope that you found this video helpful and now you'll be able to tweak your nude lipsticks to work for you i hope you found this video helpful and you give it a thumbs up you share and you subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye